Zillionaire Entertainment, baby. Coronavirus relief bill. Here it is. And I must say, or any other package, by the way. It's twice as large as any relief ever signed. It's uh, 2.2 billion, but it actually goes up to 6.2 potentially billion dollars, trillion dollars. So you're talking about a 6.2 trillion dollar bill, nothing like that. And this will deliver urgently needed relief to our nation's families, workers, and businesses. And uh, that's what this is all about. And it got a 96 to nothing. And I don't know, what was the number in uh, Congress? What voice, was, not the voice, the voice was yeah. fantastic. I think it's just as close. That's pretty amazing. That's about the same thing, right, Kevin? Yes. Okay. So that's fantastic. But I want to thank Republicans and Democrats for coming together, setting aside their differences, and putting America first. This legislation provides for direct payments to individuals and unprecedented support to small businesses. We're going to keep our small businesses strong and our big businesses strong. And that's keeping our country strong and our jobs strong. This historic bill includes the following. $300 billion in direct cash payments will be available to every American citizen earning less than $99,000 per year. $3,400 for a typical family of four. So family of four, $3,400. And then $350 billion in job retention loans for small businesses with loan forgiveness available for businesses that continue paying their workers. The workers get paid. Approximately $250 billion in expanded unemployment benefits. The average worker who has lost his or her job will receive 100% of their salary for up to four full months. So things like this have never happened in our country. $500 billion in support for hard-hit industries with a ban on corporate stock buybacks. We don't let them buy back the stock. We don't let that happen. And tough limits on executive compensation. Over $100 billion to support our heroic doctors, nurses, and hospitals. And you see what's happening. And I want to thank while well, we hear also the incredible job that's done by the Army Corps of Engineers and by FEMA. It's been incredible. They did four hospitals in two days or three days in New York, and they're like incredible structures. What a job they've been doing, and they're doing them all over the country. $45 billion for the Disaster Relief Fund, supporting our state, local, and tribal leaders. $27 billion for the development of vaccines, therapies, and other public health response efforts, including $16 billion to build up the strategic national stockpile with critical stockpiles. And I'm going to, we have uh, tremendous supplies coming into the stockpile, and you'll be seeing that and hearing about it a little bit because we're doing a, a news conference at 5.30 on what's happening. We've had tremendous uh, results on the respirators. We've had great results on uh, just about everything we're talking about. Uh, Boeing just announced that they're going to be making the plastic face shields, the actual shields, which are hard to come by, and they're going to be making them by the thousands a week. And uh, the ventilators, which is probably the most difficult because it's like, it's like building a car. Uh, we will be announcing thousands uh, of, are going to be built and we have them under contract and uh, we have fast deliveries. As you know, we delivered thousands to New York and unfortunately they were delivered to a warehouse which was good. Unfortunately, they didn't take them, but now they're taking them. New York is now taking them and uh, redistributing them around the areas that they need. So you have also $3.5 billion to states to expand child care benefits for health care workers, first responders, and others on the front lines of this crisis, and $1 billion for securing supplies under the Defense Protection Act. And as you know, I've uh, enacted the act. We've used it uh, three or four times. I pulled it back three times because uh, the companies came through in the end. They didn't need the act. It's been great leverage. I have instituted it against General Electric. We thought we had a deal for 40,000 ventilators, and all of a sudden the 40,000 came down to 6,000. And uh, then they talked about a higher price than we were discussing, so I didn't like it. Uh, so we did, uh, we did activate it with respect to General Motors, and hopefully maybe we won't even need the full activation. We'll find out. Zillionaire Entertainment, baby.
zillionaire entertainment bet.